Now you choose to run around? Now you have energy? to the Flies and Hellhounds channel. We are a puppy interrupted crafting podcast coming to you from Central Connecticut. I'm your human host, Gabby. You can find me everywhere online as Gabigales and on my hand dyed yarn at Plies and Hellhounds and pliesandhellhounds.com. This week's episode, we are, uh, thank you, Audrey, going to be going over the four aesthetics that I uh, set as a goal for myself last year to make. The plan, or <laughs> The goal for the four aesthetics was to make or acquire um, pieces from these four photos that would create um, four new outfits that I could probably pick, like pair, pick and choose between and just have a more cohesive wardrobe. And yeah, we'll, um, we'll get into how that went. We'll see. But before we get into the uh, what I actually made and the patterns and the yarns and the fabrics and all of that, we are uh, partnering today with Anna Luisa. I was super excited when they reached out to me. I worked with them in, I think, 2019 Vlogmas. I know it was pre-pandemic, that's all I know. But they reached out again and asked if I would be interested in working with them again. And I am trying to wear more jewelry and style more things because it's 2022 and like that's just what we're doing now. I am I like wearing jewelry, I miss wearing, I used to wear rings all the time and necklaces and earrings and all that stuff. So I'm trying to get back into that. So I thought this was the perfect opportunity to do so. If you haven't heard of Ana Luisa, are a jewelry company committed to making sustainable and unique jewelry. All of their metals are recycled and all of their gemstones have transparent sources. So they are, very conscious of where the supplies for their pieces come from. They're also working towards a completely carbon neutral packaging coming from recyclable boxes that they ship to or even just the cotton pouches that the jewelry comes in and the cardstock that the jewelry comes on is also recyclable. We are incorporating some of these pieces into style with the four aesthetics and I'm super excited about that. It is just in time. They are having a Valentine's Day sale in the month of February for either to treat yourself, which I am a huge fan of, or I am also very into buying gifts for people right now. I just want to send people love with tiny things. So if you want to get a gift for somebody or a gift for yourself, this would be a really good opportunity to try them out. So I will leave the link um, to their... <laughs> I will leave a link in the description box below to their website and um, just kind of going over what three pieces I will be matching with all of these outfits. So with that, let's get into the uh, outfitting of this video because I'm wearing pants and I would like to get out of the pants. So the, we have this photo, this is the beginning. Uh, so what I did for this outfit, the plan was to make things I made nothing. I made absolutely nothing. I, um, yeah. So I'm going to get into it and, um, we'll talk about it. I'll be right back. Aesthetic one. Um, everything for this outfit ended up being store-bought. I um, knew the jeans were going to be store-bought. Sorry, my bangs need to be cut terribly bad. Um, and I just, last time I cut them, terrible things happened in my house, so I'm not risking it anymore. <laughs> everything for this outfit was store-bought, but I love it. It's super comfy. It's just the, like, running between the library getting my master's degree in like 
archival studies look that I dream of. Like one of those days where like you've got a very early class but you also need to be like climbing shelves in the afternoon. You know, how that is. I love it. Uh, the jeans are from Dearborn Denim. Um, Adrian from the Barrows and Whites YouTube channel uh, turned me on to these. This is where he's been getting his jeans and they're super durable. I don't they they were comfy. I have gained a little bit of weight since buying them so they're not they don't fit as well as I would like. Um, I do wish the rise was a little bit higher. These are their high rise or ultra high rise but apparently I just have very long hips so it doesn't reach my waist. <laughs> it just just over the hip bones which is fine. That's that's you know how my body is shaped. That's what's happening. But other than that they're really good jeans. I've had them for almost a year now and um, they have held up super well. I think it's a cotton blend regular button up oversized shirt. I got the medium because I did want it to be a little bit loose and I roll my sleeves up for everything so I just keep them rolled up. Uh, I can also, I match this shirt with almost all of my skirts that I have in my wardrobe too so this thing has gotten a ton of wear. It is incredibly soft. I don't know if that's a new thing Target does or if it's just I haven't bought ready-made clothing in so long I forgot how like irresponsibly soft these things could be. But yeah that's um outfit number one, aesthetic number one. Technically we did it. We didn't make anything but we did do it and I do feel like the grad student of my dreams. Is that a weird sentence to say? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> uh, all right, um, let's get into aesthetic number two. Aesthetic number two. So um, the first one was just a picture. Most of the, I just got all these off Pinterest because obviously. Uh, the second one is actually a webcomic that I found on Pinterest, which was originally published on Tumblr because the internet. Um, and it is uh, Hades, Hades on vacation. Hades takes a vacation. Hades holiday. It's a Persephone holiday. Hades. <laughs> Uh, essentially webcomic retelling where Persephone works in a plant shop with her mom Demeter and Hades is still the king of the underworld. Oh that's my hair. I'm trapped in my hair. It is a black and white striped outfit with the black skirt but I changed it up because I don't wear a lot of white. Contrary to what my Target haul of December? Was that December when I bought that? November? I don't remember. When I bought the things at Target, I bought two light colored shirts, but we're not talking about those. So the first item that I made for this is the sweater number 12 by My Favorite Things. I did the small size and I only did the fingering weight. The pattern calls for you to hold mohair double with the contrasting stripes. I did not because I did not find a mohair that I thought would match without taking away um, from the color of the yarn itself, which I really loved. The yarn is Earl Grey Fibers. I got it during Indian Tangled's 2020. Uh, it's on her gunpowder sock and the colorway, the dark gray main color is dark and mysterious and the um, contrasting color is Copper Boom. I love this yarn. It is a yak blend. I believe it's merino, yak, and nylon. I will 
link to her shop and all the information will be there. I think I followed the pattern pretty close. I didn't crop it any more than what it calls for and um, I did three quarter sleeves. I believe her pattern calls for full sleeves and I just didn't do the amount of positive ease because I wanted it to fit more like a shirt and less like a sweatshirt. So I absolutely, I wear this thing to death. It was uh, one of my Rhinebeck sweaters for this year. I believe it was my Saturday Rhinebeck sweater for 2021. I think so. No, that was the Alaska pullover. This was not, this was a backup sweater. Did I wear it on Sunday? Maybe this was my Sunday sweater. Did I wear this on Sunday? I don't remember. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I just I loved it. I would highly recommend this pattern. I don't think you can buy it on Ravelry, but I bought it off of her website and the link is, I will leave the link to her website down below because I think that's where you purchase it. I could be mistaken. I don't know. It's been a while since I knit this. I cast this on last March, so it's been a hot minute. <laughs> I'd pair this outfit because it is Persephone and I want something a little bit more magical and like light and dainty because when you are a working in a plant shop all day and then on the run from the gods you need um delicate jewelry so I paired it with the crescent moon um earring studs and the bonita oval I adore this it's I have to double check again opal I think I just love them I like they look like little moonstones and the necklace, they're not a set, but they match so good. And I just thought it would be the perfect little like to add to this outfit. So I am, I wear this outfit all the time. This has definitely become a staple. Oh, the skirt. <laughs> the skirt I found in my closet. So I, it's from a thrift store. I know that. I think I bought it in college for my Hufflepuff uniform because the last two Harry Potter movies came out while I was in college. I recently got rid of the hand-painted Hufflepuff tie that I had since fifth grade, but I kept the skirt. Who knows why, but I did. It is just a pleated um, uniform skirt. The brand is Weir, like we, we are. I'm pretty sure it's for a school uniform and I'm, I know I got it at a thrift store because if I bought it in college then I had no money because I was an art student. <laughs> but yeah, I wear this thing all the time. I am taking a closer look at it to see if I can like reverse engineer it. It's pretty simple. It looks like a rectangle with pleats. If I were to make it, I would add pockets, but it's got um, an elastic backed waistband with a button and a zipper up the side. Super comfy. It's, I don't know, what made me hold on to it for so long, but I'm really glad I did. This was, you know, a thrifted and made thing. I am, I love this. I just, my goal to be the main character of someone else's webcomic, I feel that in this outfit. I wear it all the time. I pair it with tights, black tights, I have maroon tights, I have black herringbone tights I, I pair it with. And yeah, I wear this sweater with everything I pair under York pinafores. I pair it with jeans, uh, this skirt, my um, pencil skirts that I wear, basically anything. It's super comfy and I just love the way it fits and it's really stretchy. So it's been very accommodating with the pandemic weight fluctuation that we are all going through at this moment. <laughs> Definitely, I like the My Beaver Knit style. I think I would knit more of her stuff. I'm trying to remember the size range off the top of my head. I'm not sure if I, I will look it up and I'll put it down here. But yeah, that is aesthetic number two down. <laughs> All right, I'm going to um, uh, let change. And um, this is where it gets kind of dicey with what we actually accomplished, which is fine. So outfit aesthetic number three.
snack, Audrey. We're still going. We'll still, we still got things to do. The third aesthetic. Um, this is where it gets a little bit dicey. <laughs> Uh, so this aesthetic I was going to flip what the picture is and the picture has the woman wearing a black turtleneck. Thank you, bud. You have to put it, you have to let go of it. <laughs> the woman is wearing a black turtleneck with a tartan skirt. I was planning on swapping it to have the pattern on the top and a plain black skirt because I already have a tartan fantail skirt by screw patterns and I wanted a plain black one. So I did make the paint plain black one, but I did not make the shirt. So, or but, whatever words are, I did get this like poet -y shirt from Target. It's got the like poet sleeves with the elastic wrist. It just has uh, like a deep V and um, like not really a collar, but like a little baby collar thing. Uh, so I did, I've been pairing these together. This has kind of been my um, pirate widow outfit. Like my pirate husband has just died, but I uh, took over his ship and now I am the most feared pirate in all the land. Vibes. So not like the uh, dead poet society um, <laughs> librarian who works in a haunted castle look that I was going for, but I'm not that mad about it. I am pairing them with the Hanali um, silver earrings, so they're an a asymmetrical. They're two different style earrings. So one has the little silver drops and one has, I think is very pirate fitting, the tiny little dagger on them. I love mixed matching earrings, so uh, chef's kiss. I do have a sword earring where it's just a sword going through your ear. I will probably pair with the little dangly dagger earring. I still have the fabric for this top. My plan was to make the Nico top. Um, I believe by true bias, I could be mistaken. I haven't looked at it since I made last year's video. And I have this floral on black knit fabric that I got at Affordable Fabrics in 2019. Uh, so that is still on the agenda. I was hoping I could make it before I put out this video, but I just did not have the time to sit down and sew. The skirt is the Fantail, um, Modern Fantail Skirt by Scroop Patterns. I've made this before in a tartan fabric and I loved it. And I made it out of this like cryptochine, I think, cotton fabric that I got out of my grandmother's basement. Um, I could have gone down a size with, I think this fabric has a little bit of stretch because I did use the same pattern that I did for the other fabric, but this one is a lot looser than the first, the plaid skirt that I have. So I believe the skirt has a little bit of stretch because I know I um, have not changed, like my sizes have not changed in that direction. Stretch. So I do have like a safety pin holding it up, which has betrayed me once before. So we are on thin ice with that thing. So I would use probably a stiffer fabric next time. I do want to make more of these. I really love these skirts. I really want to work on making um, one with pockets. I have seen a couple blog posts about adding pockets, but they're not like inseam pockets. They're attach applied pockets. I don't know the technical term. I'm obviously a professional at making things, so. But I just haven't found a skirt where I would like to have a visible pocket. So my goal eventually is to add pockets to this skirt. How many times can I say the word pocket? This aesthetic a success. It's not the aesthetic I was going for, but it's one I'm very much into. And I wear this outfit all the time. I, um, first wore it for the photo shoot for the after some shawl and then I just slowly wanted to become more and more a woman who lived on the wild west whose husband died in a mining accident and now she's like determined to take revenge on the town style that like that's what I'm that's apparently what I'm going for with this like I just I'm here to take down the bank and I'm just here to keep the farm <laughs> My life is devolving into chaos. Yeah, I still plan on making this outfit completely. I am hoping I can do that before winter is over. Oh, you're so far away, come back here. Oh, wow, this is really nice lighting and I wish I had this the whole time. It's gonna get dark in four seconds. The fourth aesthetic, um, <coughs> I'm now realizing I have a mug of coffee on the dresser <coughs> and in my hand. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. 
The neighbors just got home, so Audrey's in the <laughs> tizzy. <laughs> the fourth aesthetic was supposed to be this outfit. Oh. I have done nothing. Absolutely nothing. Didn't even buy anything. Nope. Uh, the plan was to do a pair of, I think the Winslow Coolouts come, is that a word? Cool. I think that's what they're called, Winslow Coolouts by has Helen's Closet. She has um, a pair as shorts, so the plan was to make a pair of shorts and then to make a button-up shirt with either sparkly fabric or this fabric from Adrian's D stash because it um, is picking up very strange on the camera, makes people dizzy. I didn't do it, but I completed technically 70% of the four aesthetics and 70% is not technically a failing grade if that gives you any indication of what I was like in school. I'm really proud of what I've got done or put together and the way my wardrobe is now coming together because of uh, the four aesthetics even if I didn't finish them. So I'm still gonna keep um, the last one in mind and the shirt from um, aesthetic number three also in mind because I do want them in my wardrobe. I think it would be just additional things to piece together. I have gone through my wardrobe and donated what needed to be donated and pulled aside things that um, basically I'm just gonna be using a scrap fabric because they have deteriorated so very much. I'm happy with how everything came out this year. I wish I did more, but I also know that I didn't wanna push myself to a point where I wasn't having fun with this project. Like this project was to not only add to my wardrobe, but to also bring back some joy into making because it's kind of fallen out for me over the past couple of years, probably due to the world at this moment in time. I just had so much fun putting this video together today. It was uh, kind of like the Friday pick me up that I needed. So I hope you also enjoyed it as well. And a quick reminder that the link down below for the Ana Luisa site and their Valentine's Day sale for the month of February will be in the doobly-doo. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you Ana Luisa for partnering with us for this video and we will see you in the next one. Goodbye.